And I thought of a, a favorite line that I actually blogged about in our business book blog recently from the movie Any Given Sunday. Al Pacino's giving a locker room speech and he says, quote, that's what living is, the six inches in front of your face. And it's what we put in front of our face. It's the decisions we make that really matter. That's the essence of this book, 10, 10, 10, by Susie Welch. At the top, I summarized the book in a box. Many people do not have a system, a process for making decisions. They simply make them. But if you can get clear about your values and train yourself to ask about every decision, what are the short-term, the mid-term, the long-term implications, your life and every area of your life can work a whole lot better. One of our major arguments in the book is that we don't make decisions, it just happens. And that is a bad business plan and a bad life plan. Quotes that are directly from the book, and I like to read a number of these, and so kind of listen and figure out the ones that grab you. I'm starting at the top. There is just one thing I wish I could teach my kids without all the blood, sweat, and tears usually involved. How to make good decisions. <laughs> Simply put, this is what this book is about. A new approach to making choices that will allow you to create a life of your own making, no matter where you were born, how you've spent your days, and what mistakes you've made along the way. To start making decisions differently, proactively, by deliberately considering their consequences in the immediate present, near term, and distant future. In other words, what should I, what will happen if I make this decision this way in the next 10 minutes, in the next 10 months, in the next 10 years? That's the 10, 10, 10. The book is filled with stories about times that she wishes she had 10, 10, 10 the decision. The book begins with a horrible trip where she was speaking, taking care of her kids. It was a disaster. And then there are numerous stories of everybody from her daughter's next door girlfriend to business colleagues who did not know how to make a decision and she led them through the process. Down a little, the end of a quote from page 29, as Antoine told me once, 10, 10, 10 hushes the noise so the mind can see what it needs to. I like that. It hushes the noise so the mind can see what it needs to. Now, I'm going to read an extended quote because I think this is the guts of the problem. People do not regularly survey the likelihood and severity of all of their choices. They do not habitually assess outcomes and consequences. They do not, in other words, act rationally all of the time. Now, well, I think I've given you the essence of the premise that when you make a decision, you need to ask, what will the consequences be in the next 10 minutes, in the next 10 months, in the next 10 years? And with this footnote, look down below on number five, she says, all work needs to have dignity. 10, 10, 10, 10 minutes, 10 months, 10 years, a life-transforming idea. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you very much.